the gift of a crisis is clarity. Living in Germany in the last months proved to be really interesting. As you might know, Germany always was a fortress of political stability. For a long time there was only one conservative party and it clung to power like a drowning man to a piece of driftwood. Unfortunately for conservative voters, this was exactly what happened to the party's political program. It drifted where the majority of voters trended. And thanks to the long-term political orientation of the press in Germany, the trend was kind of leftish. You would think this favored Germany's Social Democratic Party. It did not. Because the leadership of Germany's biggest conservative party, or say its lady leader Angela Merkel, believed in driftwood and the conservatives just drifted left, whereby waltzing down all social democratic positions and taking them over. Today the Social Democratic Party is a mere shadow of its former self. And both parties are troubled about their respective identities. In the process, Germany got a new party that wants us to believe that they are now the real conservative party. But actually, they are just the brown-shirted echo of the past. No, they don't wear brown shirts nowadays. That would be too obvious. Since my fellow citizens have a weak spot for such fascist atrocities, the new party grew strong over time. But since there is no action without a reaction, we have a green party with almost as much prospect of winning the next election as our former conservative party. <laughs> and thereby the stability of our party system crumbled. Interesting times. At the moment this is history, because in the corona crisis people realized it is not the time for fair weather politicians. Angela Merkel and her conservative party are back to old glory, at least in the polls. Fun fact. A former competitor for the office of the German Chancellor, Martin Schulz, complained that Merkel is only good if there is a crisis. Hmm. That is the thing about politics, Martin. We only need politicians and leadership in bad times and in times of crisis. Nobody wants your political pet projects if everything runs like clockwork. No, fair weather is over. The Green Party is cut back to its normal constituency and the new party is collecting anti-maskers, conspiracy aficionados and anti-vaxxers. <laughs> I have to admit, this is quite a confused bunch. And it, is, and it absolutely collides with positions of this party's representatives. They usually tend to authoritarian regimes. They suck up to Putin and they are brown-nosing Trump. And these would be the most authentic players for every conspiracy imaginable. <laughs> anyway, it seems failure is what this party faces in the future. Thank God. As much as we want to avoid any crisis, the gift of a crisis often is clarity. It is a moment where you see what is essential and what's not. So there is reason to be thankful. Appreciate it, because the crisis will be over soon and everything gets foggy again. Write down what you see now, that you did not before. Put it in a safe place. In a year or so, you will retrieve your note and you will have the clarity again. See you tomorrow.